my friends, welcome to Art Fashion Channel. I'm Daria, the artist who paints all clothes. And in this video, I have a very interesting piece to customize. It's a thrifted blazer with a hidden love messages. <laughs> Let me explain. I love to buy clothes in thrift stores because not only it's a very sustainable way of shopping, but also you can find very interesting and unique pieces there. And once I saw this, uh, blazer, I fell in love with it because not only it's a very beautiful, good quality blazer and uh, it was very cheap by the way, but also it has such vintage look and I love vintage clothes and I decided it's a great piece for customization, I can create very interesting design on it and then I saw love messages inside and I got so excited because like it's so interesting let me uh, read it not in English, but let me translate. I want to be with you forever, always be by your side. Uh, your smile makes me happy. Your voice makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting. And I wonder why a person, owner of this uh, blazer, decided to get rid of it. Probably she didn't want to see those messages anymore. But I'm happy that I found this blazer because now I have an idea what I can paint on it because we have a love story not a happy ending love story but it's even more interesting <laughs> so let's create love story on this blazer and I'm gonna customize pretty all parts of blazer uh, front side, back side, sleeves but first I want to cut off uh, buttons because it will be much easier for me to paint when there are no buttons uh, but then probably I will sew them back <laughs> and now let's talk how to turn any idea into interesting design uh, once you have an idea, for example I have this idea of a love story, breakup, some memories I wanted to create a mood board uh, I use Pinterest to create mood board uh, and at this point I want you to don't think about what you will paint just search for photographs, some images which you can connect with your idea or if you don't have any idea you can uh, create mood board in one aesthetic it can be you no know, summertime aesthetic, neon lights aesthetic or it can be some color aesthetic, black color or purple color aesthetic and um, in the process of creating this mood board, you will start to get ideas for what you can paint on clothes. Uh, for example, I had a lot of black and white photographs in my mood board and then this idea came to my mind that I can paint photographs uh, on a blazer and to like the idea that person want to get rid of all the memories, all the photographs, all the things uh, which will remind of this love story. So yeah, uh, you can create one artwork using all the images from your mood board or you can create, you know, design which will include many images, some lettering, which I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna paint first photograph, which is gonna be kissing couple and to create a rectangular area for photograph, I'm using a paper tape. And the main problem of painting on such fabric, checked fabric, that you can't draw with pencil on it because lines just not visible. Uh, so I'm gonna try to uh, create my design directly with fabric marker. But then I decided that the best solution would be to create a base layer with white fabric paint and then transfer design using transfer paper. And while base layer is getting dry, I'm drawing design on paper. Well, base layer didn't get dry, <laughs> so I decided to use hair dryer to dry it. And drying base layer, I lost all the paper tape, but I will apply it later. First, I'm gonna transfer my design, which I have on paper, uh, to the blazer using transfer paper. I 
I have so romantic mood right now. <laughs> so yeah, let's paint uh, Kissing Couple. And I want it to look like uh, old photograph. So I'm gonna use only black and white colors. So I'm applying back paper tape. And let's paint. So, is it hard to paint on such fabric, blaze of fabric? No, it's not. It's probably even easier than painting on denim fabric. Especially once you create a base layer, a surface becomes so smooth and it's so easy to paint on it. Well, the most satisfying part of the process, so I'm gonna make it very slowly, <laughs> I'm gonna remove paper tape. And now I'm gonna paint rose on fire and actually I had such rose on my mood board and I decided that it's definitely what I need in my design. Uh, well, I painted freehand with fabric marker because I painted so many roses in my life <laughs> that I can easily paint it freehand. And my rose is purple color and fire will be such a uh, pinkish purplish. <laughs> And then of course spray paint, which is probably my favorite art supply for painting on clothes. And then lettering. Uh, you know, spray paint and lettering are such graffiti elements which will give, you know, this street style vibes to the design. Uh, you know, painting this blazer, I'm listening to a lot of breakup songs to get into the mood, you know? And I'm getting the idea what I can write on the blazer. For example, this uh, phrase, I lost you, I found me, is from Selena Gomez's song. I needed to lose you to find me. <laughs> More spray paint. and more lettering. And this phrase is from this viral song. Cause you said forever, now I drive alone past your street. <laughs> And I'm gonna try using a white color spray paint, which actually don't have very good coverage when you apply it on black clothes. It looks very good only on leather. But I want to try use it on checked fabric of blazer. No, only for leather and puffer jackets. This leaf will explain the idea that photographs uh, are memories which person want to delete, to erase.
and then I'm painting broken DVD and people were using DVDs for keeping their photographs some memories now people use mostly USB <laughs> but as my jacket is not a modern jacket but vintage I guess it's a pretty old actually blazer I decided to paint DVD <laughs> And then I decided to create a black background to make DVD and lettering pop. And the other side of blazer and one more photograph a first base layer and tip for the beginners if you want to paint on fabric with ornament don't try to cover ornament with base layer don't use too much paint because it's even better if ornament will be visible a bit than if you put too much paint and artwork will be so stiff this time I decided to draw design directly on blazer because I'm gonna paint hands and I thought it would be easy for me to draw hands. And again I'm using uh, only black and white color and just a bit purple <laughs> because again it's gonna be old photograph. And again I'm using spray paint. And then I'm drawing heartbeat. And I'm writing Je t'aime, which is French, I love you, because this blazer gives me such French vibes, I don't know why. <laughs> I love how it's turned out. Uh, well, front side is finished and now let's add a bit more drama to the back side of blazer. Third and last photograph. And I'm gonna paint Ferris wheel uh, because it gives me such romantic vibes even though I've never had any romantic experience on Ferris wheel but probably I've watched a lot of romantic movies with Ferris wheels uh, but it's gonna be quite a challenge to paint it because there is a perspective there is a construction which I don't quite understand but I'll try to create such blurry Ferris wheel a bit abstract <laughs> Again, spray paint. And as I don't have a white color spray paint, actually I have, but it's bad, uh, I decided to create a white background with brush. And 
let's try to use white color marker. I'm using Posca. Let's see how it will work. No, only for leather and puffer jackets. <laughs> Broken heart. And meaningful lettering. And again, I'm gonna draw hands, but this time it will be such a breakup hands, like trying to hold you but losing you. And a couple of meaningful graphic elements. Well, I think we only need the final part of our drama. Uh, you know guys, I think that the secret of interesting and creative design is, you know, to get the first idea what you can paint, then start painting uh, while listening to some music, getting into the mood, and yeah, don't afraid to experiment, because like in the process you will get more ideas, what you can paint, what you can add, like which effects you can create, what you can write, uh, and yeah, this way you can create very very interesting design. I hope guys you enjoyed this video, I hope it was useful and if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button to support my art and my channel and if you are new here subscribe for more paints you can close videos and here is the final result.